Well, g'day folks, uh, I've been doing some uh, repairs and maintenance to my car and uh, something I really need to put some attention into is my wing mirror. It started flopping around quite some time ago and it got worse and worse and uh, well let's have a look at it. Okay, it's actually the wing mirror glass, the, uh, the wing mirror itself is fine. It's just this part. It started out by just doing a little very light vibration and it gradually got worse and worse until it kind of looked like it was flopping around at the top and was about to fall off. So I was on a trip and uh, we chucked some uh, electrical tape around there and unfortunately that wasn't going to actually hold against the, uh, the glass so I grabbed a cap off my WD-40 and we taped that on and that means that uh, the tape applies force and uh, the mirror now works fine but yeah time to have a look at a proper fix well first step is an Edward Scissorhands moment I'll pop that off and let's have a look at what we've got so I'll see if I can show you what it's like oh that's interesting it's actually possible that the um, the action of uh, applying force has actually made it kind of stick back on uh, temporarily. Although no, hang on, there we go, there we go. That's the actually it was vibrating at the yeah it looks loose at the bottom. The and that's and when I was driving along that's what it was doing and because of the um, you know just how when you're looking back at a long distance well the whole road the the car behind me was, was just jumping up and down like this so it, it was hard to believe something was wrong Okay, so I think it's pretty clear that the glass has separated from the backing plate and well, I don't know, maybe I can just chuck some double sided tape on there and see how I go. Um, otherwise I'm, I'm having to replace it. So, you know, if it costs me next to nothing to keep it going until if it doesn't fail then Great. If it fails, well, uh, I haven't really lost anything. Okay, don't forget, tell me. White's on top. Well, it's a. Uh, it's not a. It's not a perfect surface. It certainly looks like it's heat affected. Now, this is a heated wing mirror, and I like heated wing mirrors, so. Um, but, you know, if you lived in, in, in England or Germany, uh, you wouldn't be surprised if you'd use it more than me. And, I mean, this is four years old. So, it's a bit disappointing, but I'll see what I can do. Well, thinking about it a little bit, a little bit, I reckon if, if I put... A double sided sticky tape on there it might act as a bit of an insulator so it might take longer 
for it to heat up the glass and get rid of the water droplets but I might be prepared to to sacrifice that it's uh, uh it's uh, you know whatever What I'm going to use here is something I've just got lying around. I think it's handy to always have some around. It's just a automotive double-sided tape. So, hmm, will that be enough? If I use the whole roll of, roll of tape, it might start to get well, to the point where you'd say, well, I should have just bought a new one. So I'll just trim around the edges. Okay. Part of the reason I chose to do it this way is because I wasn't 100% sure of what the story was. Uh, for all I knew, there could have been some other issue behind there, as, as unlikely as that may have been. And you might think, well, we'll take it apart and have a look. Well, yes, as you saw, when I took it apart, well, the glass came off fully. And um, I could have jerry-rigged it back there, but, I mean, well, you could just say this is jerry-rigged. Uh, and probably the easiest way to get it back together. Um, so I've simultaneously learned what was wrong and I've done a, a jerry rig and I've done something that might last forever. Um, the packet does say, as I mentioned, uh, there's a risk that it will insulate and reduce the effectiveness of the heating And uh, on the back here, it says good, good insulation properties. So yeah, it will do some of that, but um, look, I'm not going to cry about that. At any time, I can just buy a new one. And for now, 
I've got myself out of trouble. The tape says to ensure that the uh, surface to be mounted is clean and dry. And um, well, hopefully, I left the wax and grease remover long enough to dry. I'm a little bit guilty of not necessarily giving it enough time to dry. Oh, oh, here we go. Not recommended for mounting of mirrors. Well, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. I guess there is a possibility of me ending up in a worse situation. The glass could fall off and then uh, I'm worse off than where I was with my previous jerry rig. Uh, well, I guess I'll find out. Voila! Alrighty, catch you next time. Thanks for watching. See ya! Well, I've been scratching my head for a couple of minutes as to why they wouldn't recommend the mounting of uh, mirrors with this double sided sticky tape. And maybe, just maybe, uh, the insulating properties mean that the heat won't escape. Um, with the original, the heat, heat will go into the glass and then get radiated um, and the bed, you know, it, the glass is reasonably conductive, I would say, and so the heat can uh, escape and um, the heating element won't have a meltdown or anything. It may be that by insulating it like this, that it will get too hot and it will have a meltdown. Um, totally wild theory, it could be totally and utterly bunkum. I really don't know. I, uh, I'm just trying to work out why and I don't want to lead anyone up the garden path. So uh, until I've come up with a solution to that, I won't turn on the mirror heaters. Obviously, if I don't turn it on, then I've got no worries. I'll see how I go.